Now that we have one player, we need to basically do the same sort of thing with the other player. Rather than doing all that work we just did, we can actually duplicate the cyan player and change it so that it matches the stuff for the pink player. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to select player cyan and duplicate it. If I go into here, I should rename this player cyan. And then I'm going to duplicate this thing. And this is going to be Technically, I suppose it's player magenta, but we've been using the word pink the whole time. And this player is going to be basically on the other side of the vertical line in the middle. So it's going to be on the negative three side. And then we're going to change the move script so that it uses the light wall pink and WSDNA. So this position is going to start at minus 3, so it's over on this side. And if I go down to the script, we have the up key is going to be W. Down is going to be S. Right is going to be D, and left is going to be A. And then we need to switch it to be the other prefab. Ah. There we go. Looks pretty good. So now we need to add the losing condition side of things, where we're going to actually have it when your player collides with one of these walls that it loses. So we used an on collision 2D before. We're going to use something similar where we're going to use this on trigger enter 2D, which basically is as soon as there is a collision, fire this particular event. So we're going to add to the move script, the thing that's actually moving the player around, this on trigger 2D event. So I already have the move script here. I'm going to add this down here at the bottom. Before this last brace, void on trigger enter 2D. So on trigger enter 2D, they want us to use CO for your shortening of collision. I don't think we need this to be private necessarily, so I'm just going to take off that qualifier. Private means that only this particular method can run it. Public means anybody can touch it, and if you leave it blank, then everything in this directory tends to be allowed to use it. <clears throat> so if we collide with something, we got to make sure that it's not the wall yourself that you're dra uh, dragging along, because remember you're, you have this wall that's bit going along with you. You don't want to instantly lose just because of that guy. So we basically have to say, if it's not that wall, then we're going to do stuff. So if CO is not equal to the wall, and the wall is this thing here, And we're going to do something with the collision. So for example, we could print out you lost and destroy this particular game object. So when you do this command, this prints out this stuff plus whatever the name is as text, and it puts it into the console. And then it'll destroy the game object, which actually removes it from the game. What did they say again? Player lost. We do a plus sign between the two. 
and that combines this text here in the quotes with whatever this variable name is. So that's called concatenation when you use a plus sign with strings. And we're going to destroy the game object, which is the current game object. So that'll be the player in our case. Because if you don't specify, it means whatever the current object is. And the one that has the move object, move script, is the player object. I should say this. Blam! So it says here, player lost, player pink. All right, that gets us through the tutorial section of this. The only other thing we have to do is to add a win-loss screen and possibly add in walls around the outside.